Hi everyone, Matt from Snare here. Today we're going to configure file integrity monitoring and registry integrity monitoring using our Snare agent. For those of you that are not too familiar with these concepts, file and registry integrity monitoring, or FIM and RIM, allow to keep track of changes and to know exactly when someone modifies your organization's essential files or important registry settings. It can be a great addition to your monitoring toolset. It can also help with incident investigation, but most importantly, it is required by many regulations. For instance, if your organization handles credit cards or other financial data, PCI DSS regulations apply, and specifically requirement 10.5.5 explicitly mentions file integrity monitoring. Okay, so that's it for the intro, and now let's see how easy it is to configure FIM and RIM using Snare Agent. For this video, I have the latest version 5.3.3 running pretty much with the default configuration on this virtual machine. What I also have is a super critical collection of files in this location, C, critical data. This is obviously on a local disk, but these files could equally reside on a mapped share on my organization's file server. In here, we have some customer data, invoices, logs, and say we want to monitor the integrity of all of those files. So let's go back to the agent to configure FIM. We need to go to the file integrity monitoring section on the left and then click out. First, we need to select our schedule. FIM scan can happen hourly, daily, or we can have a custom schedule which can be specified in cron format. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the cron format, there are five values for minutes, hours, day of the month, month, and day of the week. So if we want a job to run at say 10.30 p.m. each working day, we can configure it this way with this 1 to 5 range representing Monday to Friday. For the purpose of this demo, let's run the check every minute, which is simply 5 asterisks. Now let's assign a security level of warning. You can choose a suitable level here, path to the directory we want to monitor, and file format, which for us is going to be an asterisk to monitor all file types. We now need to change the configuration and save, and this is it. I'm going to fast forward a bit to make sure a scan is triggered at the next full minute. This should have happened now, so let's have a look at the results. Here, I can see our scan did happen a moment ago. And looking at the latest events under file integrity, I can see all the new files being now detected with the appropriate severity level. To make sure FIM is configured properly, let's make some changes and see how they are detected. I'm going to remove a single invoice file. Then let's uh, remove a whole folder and maybe open one of the log files and modify it slightly. I'll just remove a few characters here and save. We can fast forward again to ensure enough time passes and another scan happens in the background so we can review the latest events once more. Now we can clearly see what happened to our files including timestamps, paths and file names as well as types of modifications including the size differences. And since my organization's security systems are properly configured, all these logs have already been sent to Snare Central, which is our centralized log repository, and further to SIM, so my actions are now properly recorded and traceable. File integrity monitoring is a great tool, but certain employees, like for example members of the IT team, have in the knowledge of this solution and local administrative access, which they need to perform their tasks, potentially could abuse their privileges to bypass FIM. How can we make sure that someone does not disable this option to covertly make changes to files and then re-enables FIM before someone else has noticed this? We can use registry integrity monitoring to track changes to registry configuration exactly the same way we can track changes to files using FIM. And this applies not only to changes made to Snare Agent configuration, but also to any other changes to the registry. Let's open the registry editor so I can show you where Snare Agent settings are stored. They are under local machine, Software, Intersect Alliance, Audit Service. Here we can see the FIM part which we configured a moment ago. Let's say we want to monitor all Snare Agent configuration for any changes. I'll copy this path as we will need it in a moment. Remember, we can monitor any part of the registry this way, so if you have any critical applications or other settings that you want to monitor, the same approach applies. Okay, let's go back to the agent and this time navigate to the Registry Integrity Monitoring section. Let's add a new job. Let's select a custom schedule again, just to run the task every minute. This time we're gonna assign priority. This is the local machine root key. And in here we can paste in the path and add an asterisk 
to make sure every subkey is monitored as well. An asterisk for all values and we want to apply the settings. Fast forward again to make sure we get to the next full minute and have a look at the latest events, registry integrity to make sure all the values are now detected. Let's now make some changes to FIM to simulate changes to the registry. I'm going to change the schedule and change and apply configuration. Fast forward once more. And now looking again at the latest events, we can see the three changes to the registry values that we can now detect and report on. And that's it. This is how easy it is to configure FIM and RIM using our snare agents. Watch our entire problem solve series to learn more ways to easily glean additional value from your snare solution.